Solid Rock Carriers Car Store makes the hard left turn onto the pit lane, ready to see the green flag wave. And this time by, we are underway going super late model racing. Trevor Knowles off into turns one and two. He will have the inside line, but he will not have the lead as Matt Craig was able to jump to his outside and grab the lead down the back straightaway and down the front straightaway. He'll lead the first circuit. It's Matt Craig out to the point. Battle for third place down the back straightaway. Here comes Bubba Pollard to the inside of Cody Connor back to turn three. Pollard on the bottom of the track. That looks to be the preferred groove so far in this race. Top doesn't look like it's quite there for the Supers as it was for the late models early in the going. Nancy Nancy oh. thought about throwing the nose to the inside. Now he will pull up beside Connor down the back straightaway. Nancy to the inside for four. Side by side for the second position down the back straightaway. There's the 26 of Bubba Pollard running a little bit higher around the speedway. He'll look to go around the outside of Trevor Knowles. He will do so. I might have spoke too soon there. There might still be something up in that outside groove as Bubba Pollard just made the move around the outside of Trevor Knowles early in the going. Tries to look to the inside of Knowles back to turn three. Knowles looks like he's not going to put up too much of a fight. Nancy working to his inside pretty easily here. We'll see how hard Knowles defends the spot. With 19 of 150 laps complete, Nancy will move into third spot. Knowles back to fourth. Cody Connor right there in the Tiger Print 45. He's trying to come up from the fifth position. He's trying to challenge for fourth. He tries to hold off the young and in the 13. That's Austin McDonald. The young Canadian will look to the inside back to turn three. Side by side with Cody Connor right in the middle of their battle. As McDonald passes Halder and now goes after Connor. Here comes Mike Hopkins in the 15. He's going to look for fifth. Nancy holds his ground on the outside, but Hopkins will clear him into turn number one. And there you see Austin McDonald has gotten clear of second place, Bubba Pollard, and now sets his sights on the race leader, Matt Craig. Time to go back to work. 40 laps of 150 complete for the Fury Race Cars 150 portion of the Solid Rock Carriers 300. We are back to green. Matt Craig out to the lead once again. Austin McDonald gonna follow him in second spot. Travis Braden now works in the third in the 77. 45 of Cody Connor back to fourth. Bubba Pollard back to fifth now as Craig, Braden, McDonald, the top three. Connor fourth. Bubba Pollard riding in the top five for now. There you see the gap between the front two of Craig and Braden. Try earlier in the run to run a little bit higher on the track, but now it looks like everybody wants to bottom feed. And Travis Braden looks like he wants to feed on the bumper of Matt Craig. He got awful close out of turn two. Off of turn four, he stays right with him. Caution here for the super late models. They're closing in as we have a battle for the lead in turn three. First time anyone's challenged Matt Craig today. Here comes Travis Braden to the inside. Trying to put a little pressure on Craig back to turn one. Craig withstands the blow off of turn four. Braden maybe trying to push the issue just a little bit. Right now they are nose to tail on the bottom of the racetrack here at Southern National Motorsports Park. Pollard trying to take fourth place away from Austin McDonald. Meanwhile, Nancy on the inside of the 15 of Mike Hopkins. He's trying to take sixth place away from him. 94 of 150 laps complete. The battle is four fifth as Connor not wanting to give up any ground on that high side of the racetrack, but Knowles has got the preferred position, the preferred line of the racetrack right now. And Knowles will take fifth down the back straightaway. Trevor Knowles. That is a battle for sixth position, and Sammy Smith took it with authority. Now he's going to go after Nancy. Battle for the top five. Sammy Smith working to the inside of that Kyle Busch Motorsports prepared Toyota Camry. Side by side with Nancy, a pair of 51s. Give it to Sammy Smith. Bubba Pollard riding in that third position. There you see him going to work now. Travis Braden, a little aggressive here. Working back to turn three. Braden tried to hold him back, but Pollard on the move in a hurry. He knows another competition caution's coming. He wants to restart second. Sammy Smith in the 51 to the inside of Connor. A pair of Toyotas battle for the fourth position. And Smith has it by a nose. Give it to him. The TMC Transportation 51 of Sammy Smith. He's up to fourth. He puts Connor back to fifth, and now Trevor Knowles coming with him. Second, Travis Braden third, and Sammy Smith on the move again. Here comes Sammy to the inside of Braden. That's the battle for the third position. 
Smith runs up a little bit high to turn number two, pulls the car back down into turn three. He has him clear. Sammy Smith up to the third position. Craig has the race lead. Pollard has the back out of it in second spot. Got a little loose off the corner. Sammy Smith and Trevor Knowles will battle side by side for the third position. Little contact. Pollard gets bumped out of the way. Here comes Sammy Smith. Pollard had his hands full on a turn number four thanks to the 51 Kyle Busch Motorsports entry. But Sammy Smith says, I got to go. I got to catch Matt Craig as Craig is trying to get away with that race lead. Each other. Meanwhile, up the second place battle has re-engaged. Here comes Bubba Pollard around the outside on Sammy Smith. A little contact gave Smith the second place position earlier. Pollard says, I'll take that back, young man. But all that third place up for grabs now as well. Smith cannot hold back. Trevor Knowles. Knowles, ooh, a little contact in turn four. Hold on to that thing, young man. Smith got loose and gave up third place to Trevor Knowles. Smith settles back into fourth for the moment. But now here comes Stephen Nassi going to work on him out of turn number two. 128 laps complete. Make it 129 laps complete. Matt Craig back out in the lead. Ten Travis ball. Braden back into the top five. And Sammy just trying to hang on here. Might have burnt the right rear up now. Cody Connor goes to work on him from sixth spot. And Carson Quaffle trying to go as well. There's the battle for second place as Knowles works on Pollard. A little contact, and Pollard is up the hill. Pollard gives up two spots, and he pulls it to the inside. Something to miss on the 26 of Pollard. He is slow on the back stretch. Back Trouble. White flag in the air. One more lap to go. Matt Craig will take the CNC Boiler sales and, Chevro uh, sales and service Chevrolet out of turn two down the back straightaway one final time. Back to turns three and four. No pressure out back. The Kannapolis, North Carolina native will do it again. This time Matt Craig wins at Southern National Motorsports Park, second for Trevor Knowles, and a third place effort for the 51 of Stephen Nancy. Looked like you were just toying with him, man. Everybody said they had to save, 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 but... Man, you just you held them off. Looked like you just had another gear you could go to. How was it? Yeah, the car was really good. I mean, I got to thank my guys, my dad, my uncle, brother, uh, Mobat, Cody at Rowdy Manufacturing. Man, Rowdy Manufacturing builds a bad piece, uh, super high quality equipment. But the car was awesome. I mean, they were riding way too much. I mean, you know, we got to stop racing like this in super late models. We need to race hard from the green flag and have fun and not ride around at caution speed. All these people in the grandstands didn't pay $20 to watch us ride at caution speed for 120 laps and then race 30. We, if we're going to race 30 laps, let's just race 30 laps. I mean, What do you think? Some of those guys behind you started moving up a little bit. Did you feel like you needed to go up there? Or was your car where it didn't need to move? No, I mean, you know, I felt like my car was best on the bottom. I mean, if they got closer, you know, they were, they were calling lap times out. You know, I was kind of backing off a little bit because I just had a big lead. So, uh, you know. I didn't feel like I needed to go to the top. My foot car was pretty good on the bottom. That's Matt Craig, the defending series champion. He starts off as 2020, just like he ended 2019 on the winning side of things.